good time. I am talking about operative gynecology. Hysterectomy is the most commonly performed major gynecological operation in the world. One in five women in the UK has a hysterectomy before age of 60. Indication of hysterectomy, we have heavy menstrual bleeding, when endometrial bleeding after failed medical management, for removal of the fibroid, for correction of the uterovaginal prolapse, and for diagnosis and management of malignant disease, especially endometrial, ovarian, and cervical cancer. For chronic pelvic inflammatory disease, when the patient is complete, the family are reluctant to any treatment. And endometriosis, also the same when complete, the family are reluctant to treatment. We go to hysterectomy. We have three types of hysterectomy, abdominal, vaginal, and laparoscopic. General perioperative preparation is important before any hysterectomy. We have preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative. During preoperative, we need evaluation of the history, physical examination, and investigation. Sometimes need admission and counseling and informed consent, and also diet, local antiseptic care, morning medication, prophylactic antibiotic, and thromboprophylaxis is important. During postoperative, immediate follow-up of the patient, checking vital signs and recovery from anesthesia, and anesthetic consent and fluid balance is important. In the world, we should take care about the placement in the bed, observation of the vital sign, fluid replacement, pain control and antibiotic, and bladder care and mobilization. And later, we do advice for rest, avoid coitus and follow up after six weeks or earlier if there is any complication. We have three types of abdominal hysterectomy. Subtotal, when there will be removal of the uterus with preservation of the uterus, while total removal of the uterus and cervix. In pan, uh, removal of the uh, uterus and cervix plus bilateral salpingo-operectomy. In radical removal of the uterus, cervix, paramedial tissue in the cervical fascia, uterus sacral ligament, and pelvic lymph node. An abdominal approach, two-thirds of cases is necessary in a woman with a uterine size more than 12 weeks when there will be history of the endometriosis or pelvic inflammatory disease or history of the previous cesarean section and or the operation done for malignant disease which is staging is important or if the patient had a long vagina and or narrow subpubic arch making the vaginal approach technically difficult. Preoperatively, the patient provides informed consent for the operation after detailed discussion of the risks, benefit, and complication. Blood should be routinely sent for full blood count and group and safe. About the procedure, we can do under general anesthesia or local, like spinal. The blood is catheterized with an aseptic technique and bimanual examination assess the size and mobility of the uterus. The skin is prepared and uh, draft. The incision may be somewhat like a midline or a lower transverse depending on uterine size. The rectal sheath is incised in the same plane and extended with dissecting scissor. The rectus muscle are separated with finger. The peritoneum is inter carefully, either bluntly or with scissor to avoid bowel injury. A retracted example Balfour self retraining may be used to assess visualization of the pelvis. Loops of bowel are moved out of the pelvis with the aid of the head down table till the insertion of the moist pack. Another topic we have vaginal hysterectomy. The main indication is uterine prolapse, especially procedential, which is a um, last uh, stage of uh, prolapse but it is also appropriate for benign condition with a small uterus or abdominal obesity. It is much less common to remove the ovary at vaginal hysterectomy owing to their relative inaccessibility. Advantage of uh, vaginal hysterectomy, there will be absence of an abdominal wound and minimal disturbance of the intestine. This results in the less postoperative pain, early mobilization, and earlier discharge. Now we come in to laparoscopic hysterectomy. The proportion of the hysterectomies performed laparoscopic has gradually increased, and although the procedure takes longer, proponents have emphasized several advantages. Opportunity to diagnose and treat other pelvic disease, such as endometriosis, 
or to carry out a next cell surgery and the ability to secure through uh, intraperitoneal hemostasis at the end of the procedure and rapid recovery time is make the laparoscopic hysterectomy increased. We have uh, three types, operative laparoscopy before hysterectomy, a second laparoscopically assisted vaginal hysterectomy with or without laparoscopical uterine lethal ligation, third laparoscopical total and subtotal hysterectomy. Complication of hysterectomy, we have overall complication rate of 23% for vaginal, 17 for abdominal, and 19 for laparoscopical hysterectomy. The risk of death for abdominal approach is estimated as a 1 in 4,000. We have serious risk include major hemorrhage, 15 in 1,000, damage to the bladder or ureter, 7 in 1,000, return to the theater, 6 in 1,000, uh, renal embolism or pulmonary embolism, 4 in 1,000, infection and pelvic abscess, 2 in 1,000, damage to the bowel, 0.4 in 1,000, and risk is highest with the laparoscopic approach. Frequent risks include any infection and bruising, frequency of maturation, delayed wound healing, and keloid formation. Now I am coming to gynecological endoscopy. We have laparoscopy and hysteroscopy. Laparoscopy is direct visualization of the peritoneal cavity, while hysteroscopy is direct visualization of the uterine cavity. Indication we have diagnostic. Uh, we do diagnosis of the endometriosis, which is a laparoscopy, the standard method, as no other method have the same sensitivity and specificity. The second, we have congenital abnormality, like gonadal genesis, mullerian agenesis, double uterus, and bicoronal septate uterus. Pelvic inflammatory disease, uh, tubo ovarian abscess, and which is huge, huge syndrome, which is complication of the chlamydia infection. And for diagnosis of the ectopic in suspected cases to diagnose and treatment. For uh, checking of the infertility, for diagnosis of the any tubal pathology, or checking for the patency, and see any endometriosis and tuberculosis. Also, for diagnosis and removal of the missed intrauterine device and also for chronic pelvic pain and uterine protonation after the cure step, which is one of the complications of the cure step. Therapeutic using of the laparoscopy we have uh, for tubal sterilization under local or general anesthesia, the tube is occluded by suture, clips, elastic ring, bipolar dissection. Or for tubal ectopic, we do salpingectomy, which is removal of the tube, and salpingostomy, which is done a hole in the tube and removal of the pieces of the conceptus of another uh, using of the therapeutic of laparoscopy is removal of the ovarian mass especially if it is for b9 tumor which is sonorous and no solid thing negative uh, ca125 we can remove by laparoscopy or sometimes we do frozen section and send for histopathological and it is uh, positive for any malignancy we go to laparotomy and sometimes we do for oophorectomy or cystectomy, as in a laparotomy. The cyst can be drained first via cannula or colpotomy, and content are collected in a bag and settled in the peritoneal cavity, uh, and later removed through the uh, abdominal uh, cavity, uh, abdominal wall, and sent for histopathological examination. Another we have for treatment and diagnosis of the ovarian torsion and in a polycystic ovary and for the myomectomy and hysterectomy and infertility. We have advantage of the laparoscopy, which lead to decreased adhesion due to decreased uh, peritoneal trauma and decreased pain and uh, also cause operative time hospitalization, better cosmetic, faster recovery. Well, in this advantage, there will be restricted field, no palpation, increased uh, hospital costs, increased operative time, even short stay in hospital, need much training, increased risk of complication in some patients. The technique as any uh, operation, uh, the counseling and consent is important, colon preparation to avoid colostomy if colon is involved. Uh, lithotomy, uh, at the start, later we change to trendling back position. Arms are the patient uh, as a side to allow freedom movement of the surgeon. Empty bladder and say we insert a uterine manipulator. And uh, the surgeon should be at the left uh, side and uh, 
uh, it's a like a monitor on the right side. Encephalation closed technique preferred by gynecology. We do test spring action and abdominal palpation, and we check for masses. And later, resanting we do resanting vertical incision, not deep within the base of the umbilical. We elevate lower abdomen and insertion of the vivus needle. Uh, we use either disposable shaft, either 45 in the midline, and push to penetrate the fascia and peritoneum. Double click we here, to, so this is inside the peritoneal cavity. We have complication of the laparoscopy like in procedure. Laparoscopical injury frequently occur during blind insertion of the needles, focal and cannula through the abdominal wall. Three to period of the greatest risk is from the start of the procedure until visualization within the peritoneal cavity has been established. The incidence of the complication 1000 to 12.5 thousand depending on experience and complexity of the operation. These are all complications of the laparoscopy, either from the anesthesia or from carbon dioxide embolism, cardiac arrhythmia, hypotension, electrosurgical burn, great vessel injury, abdominal wall, uh, vessel injury, bladder injury, gastrointestinal tract trochal injury, urethral injury, neurological injury, incisional hernia and wound hazard and infection. These are the common complication which is done. Contraindication to laparoscopy when the patient has a history of the severe heart or chest disease, which is contraindicated to anesthesia and pneumoperitoneum. Or the patient in a shock, we go to uh, um, laparotomy. Or the patient has paralytic ileus, bowel obstruction, Crohn's disease, large intra-abdominal mass, more than 10 cm, multiple previous laparotomy, especially with midline incision, so which is uh, 50 percent lead to adhesion, large hernia, marked obesity, and also uh, during medicine, uterine size more than 12 weeks, and abdominal sepsis. All these are contraindication to laparoscopy. Now we are coming to hysteroscopy. Uh, as we said before, endoscopic covering of the interior of the cervix and uterine cavity, more device hysteroscope. Indication, we have diagnostic for diagnosis of abnormal uterine bleeding, whether perimenopause or postmenopause. And uh, in, uh, also for checking for infertility, whether there will be history of the abnormal hysterosalpingogram or NX plate infertility. Sometime for evaluation of the cesarean uh, section scar and diagnosis of local of a missed intrauterine device and examination of infant and children and uterine anomaly. Uh, also, we have uh, indication for operative removal of the fibroid or uh, intrauterine device or back, septum resection, removal of endometrial polyp, and for removal of the fibroid and endometrial ablation for heavy menstrual bleeding and resection of synechia, which is adhesion from the aggressive curative touch. Technique for traditional patient counseling indication risks and success rate, you should explain to the patient. In a lithotomy uh, position, when there will be a uh, supine with legs in a stirrup that support the knee, smaller speculum bivalve, only on a one side allow it remove without disturbance, no anesthesia. If the Paris woman uh, or the diameter less than 3 mm used hysteroscope, intracervical or paracervical lidocaine, uh, one half to one person injection in the anterior lip around. around the internal os, uterus sacral ligament at 4 and 8 o'clock, and avoid intravascular injection. Additional topical anesthesia may be given by installation of 5 cc or 5 milli, 2% may be vaccine uh, into uterine cavity. Regional or general anesthesia may be used 
sterilization, cervix, uh, exposure and traction with the uh, volicillum dilatation using dilator in nullipara, sound should not be used, not to cause trauma to the uh, canal of the cavity or bleeding. Introduction of the scope and distension of the cavity and later imaging. Complication of hysteroscopy of anesthesia, intravascular injection or overdose, uh, perforation, bleeding, whether intraoperative and postoperative, thermal trauma, distension media and infection, which is important. Later, we are come to dilatation and curtain. Procedure in which dilatation of the cervical canal followed by uterine curtain is done to remove the material from the inside of the uterus. Indication we have diagnostic, like uh, for uh, diagnosis of abnormal uterine bleeding or in uh, fertility sometimes, or pathological anemia, uh, amenorrhea, postmenopausal bleeding, endometrial pathology. Therapeutic we use for abnormal uterine bleeding, endometrial polyp, removal of intrauterine device, incomplete abortion, and molar pregnancy. Preparation for the irritation and cure that. Blood testing, review of hair medical record is important. Take patient consent, explain risks and procedure. Patient should not drink or eat prior to the procedure. Ensure that the somebody is accompanying the patient for a safe drive back home. Keep the patient at ease and ask the patient to empty her bladder. Place intravenous line and prophylactic antibiotic. For the procedure uh, for dilatation and cure, we put the patient in a lithotomy position and doing sterilization is important. Introduce posterior vaginal speculum and grasp the anterior lip of the cervix with at least forceps. Introduce uterine sound to confirm length of the uterine cervical canal. A cervical canal is dilated gradually with a dilator if needed. Uterine cavity is cured by uterine curate, uh, curate in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction starting from the fundus downward to internal os. Cure touch must be gentle and thorough to avoid damage to basal endometrium. And uh, later remove the volicillum and speculum. Complication we have emote and remote. Immediate uh, uh, complication, injury to the cervical lip, hemorrhage, uterine perforation, and spread of infection. While remote, cervical incompetence, intrauterine adhesion, and secondary amenorrhea. Thank you for your listening.